13th of April, the day everyone was waiting for, had finally arrived. It was the day when Roger Waters was to perform live for the very first time in India. Crowds were swarming in. Some arriving almost three hours before the show. On the stage, which was one of the biggest built in India, was hectic activity. Last minute checks were being done. Over 30,000 music enthusiasts, spanning over three generations, had come to see their idol. An opportunity that would possibly be once in a lifetime. Welcome, my son. Welcome to the machine. I'm a big fan of his. Love his music. We just love his music. <laughs> the best musician I've ever heard. It's wonderful. He's really the god. I'm sure it's going to be great, and that's why I'm here. The dream come true to watch him. Once in a lifetime experience. I could see him. I'm going to see him. It's just, it's just unbelievable. It's great. Roger Waters, God, God, absolute God. You bought a guitar to punish your mom. Roger Waters, one of the biggest names in the music industry, an icon in his own right, started his affair with music at an early age. But nothing was to give Roger the kind of fame that the album, The Wall, was to give. Music that evolved round a realization during one of the concerts that the group had performed in the late 70s. What spurred me to start writing the thing in the first place was that I discovered myself on stage turning into a monster. You know, I actually spat at some youth who was trying to scrabble up the front of the stage one day. And it was in the aftermath of that that I, I thought to myself, what am I doing? What's going on here? This doesn't feel right at all, you know. And that was really, that incident, which was in the Olympic Stadium in 1977 in Montreal, that incident really was the start, you know, was the catalyst for the, the start of writing the piece. Did, 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 did you see the frightened ones? Did, 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 did you hear the falling bombs? Waters' music had always mined a darker vein of feeling than most in rock. His music is often devoted to deep anger and sadness, repression and frustration. The video of the wall created waves wherever it was screened.
Its revolutionary graphics and the autobiographical approach set the mood to the philosophical lyrics penned by Roger Waters. I think the film uh, uh, is about a, a burned out rock star, burned out from too many shows, too much booze, too many drugs, sitting there disintegrating in a hotel room somewhere, thinking about his life. At the heart of that is, uh, is all the pain of, of, of his marriage, of his, of his father dying, uh, his fears of madness, his fears of alienation, his fears of oppression, the personal walls that we build around ourselves and the walls that, that are erected in society because of, of being alienated from one another. When we first started the film uh, with Alan, he had this idea of making a kind of uh, storyboard of every frame in the film. He knew I couldn't do that, but he wanted me to do major parts of the film, and some of them I had already designed anyway for other for stage show and so on, and, and kind of evolved from that. So we worked in this room here in this house where the, the wall was covered with um, hundreds of images which we would discuss and, and transpose and move around. And they were sometimes the briefest of little sketches, but they, they were my idea of what the scene should look like. 1999-2000, Waters reappears on stage with his In the Flesh tour to the USA. It was in the month of February 2002 that Roger Waters embarked on the world tour which was to make the dreams of hundreds of thousands of his fans across cultures, religions and generations come true, of seeing their idol in the flesh. The In the Flesh World Tour marks the power of Waters' performances, the timelessness of his music, the show's intimate production values and seamless structure. Waters transcends the spectacular effects of Pink Floyd to offer a humane, more enjoyable experience to music lovers. One leg of his journey was Bangalore in India, where he was going to perform for the very first time ever. The company instrumental in bringing him to India was DNA which had in the past produced shows for high-profile bands like Deep Purple, Brian Adams, Yanni in India. The In The Flesh show utilizes elaborate large-scale video projections, theatrical set pieces and a dazzling array of special effects to underscore and accentuate the power of the music which is delivered via a state-of-the-art 360-degree quadraphonic sound system, immersing the audience in a three-dimensional hyper-world. Support came from corporate giants like BPL, Pepsi, Sony and MTV. Well, uh, we were working on it for quite some time, almost a couple of years as an idea. And when we heard that uh, Roger Waters was going out on tour, we put in our bid. Uh, there were other people in the bid and uh, so we were not that confident of uh, whether the tour will actually come uh, through to Asia. But when they said that they wanted to do maybe two or three dates, then we seriously went after the management. And it was a very challenging uh, uh, list of wants uh, because it is a huge production to recreate the magic of Pink Floyd. And uh, we sat and said, OK, let's give it the best that we have. And that's how it all happened. Well, uh, Venkat Vardhan uh, found out that Roger Waters wanted to come to India and do a show. And we contacted their agents and managers in England and we were able to negotiate a deal and all the production started from then. As soon as we had an agreement for him to come here, then the work started as far as planning and getting everything in that we needed and all the building and the stage and the video and everything else that you see. The city waited eagerly. The euphoria was on weeks before the show. It's an awesome thing happening to Bangalore. He's the best man to come to Bangalore. Roger Waters. Yeah, he's the godfather of drugs.
the grounds where he was to perform was being readied. It was the biggest stage ever built in the country.